Hi, welcome to our Pharma Topics channel. Welcome to the eighth series of uh, clinical research and pharmacovigilance. In this, uh, we are going to see about uh, the adverse drug reactions and the types of adverse drug reactions. So, let us know what is ADR. An adverse drug reaction refers to an undesirable or harmful response that occurs after administration of a medication or a medical product. In other words, it's an unintended and uh, negative effect that happens when a drug is taken intended at normal doses for its intended purpose. Adverse drug reactions. ADRs can range from mild and manageable side effects to severe and life-threatening complications. They might manifest as uh, symptoms, signs or laboratory abnormalities that are attributed to the use of the medication. ADRs can impact various systems and organs in the body and can result from pharmacological actions of the drug, interactions with other medications, individual patient characteristics or even errors in the medication administration. Uh, there are several types of uh, ADRs including uh, predictable reactions. Uh, one is uh, type A reactions uh, that are linked to the pharmacological effects of the drug as well as unpredictable reactions. Type B reactions uh, are not directly related to the drug's mechanism of action. ADRs can vary in terms of onset, severity, duration and reversibility. Uh, first, let us see type A reactions. Type A is augmented reactions. Uh, these are also known as uh, predictable or pharmacological reactions. They are a direct extension of the drug's known pharmacological effects and can often be dose dependent. Example, hypotension by beta blockers, hypoglycemia by insulin and oral antidiabetics. It can be prevented by using low doses. Next is uh, uh, a brief outline of the type A reactions. So it is of uh, two types, one affecting the primary pharmacology, one may be from the secondary pharmacology. The primary pharmacology includes augmentation of reactions. For example, beta blocker induced bradycardia. When the dose increases, bradycardia occurs. Then secondary pharmacology, it often involves a different organ system, but rationalizable from the known pharmacology. Beta blocker induced bronchospasm. Next is type B reactions. Type B are bizarre reactions. These are unpredictable reactions uh, that are not related to the known pharmacological properties of the drug. They are often not dose dependent and can occur even at low doses. Type B reactions are usually idiosyncratic and might be due to individual patient factors or immune responses. Examples hepatitis by halothane, aplastic anemia caused by chloramphenicol neurolept uh, malignant syndrome caused by uh, some anesthetics and antipsychotics. Uh, such ADRs are unrelated to dose. Next is idiosyncratic reactions that is type B reactions. So it, it may be due to the activation of the drug, it may be bio inactivation of the drug or it may be due to immune responsiveness or it may occur due to tissue injury. All these are type B adverse reactions. Next is type C reactions. Type C is uh, chronic reactions. It occurs by continuous uh, drug use. These reactions are associated with the uh, long term use of the drug and may result from cumulative exposure. Such type of ADRs uh, may be irreversible, unexpected and unpredictable. Example tardive uh, dyskinesia by antipsychotics, dementia by anticholinergic medications. Next is uh, Type D reactions. Type D are delayed reactions. This type of ADR is uh, characterized by delayed occurrence even after cessation of the treatment. That is, they stopped the treatment before some months and now the ADR is occurring. That is a delayed reaction. Example, corneal opacities after thyroidism, ophthalmopathy after chloroquine or secondary cancers after taking an anti-cancer drug. All these are examples of type D reactions. Next is type E reactions. Type E is end of use reactions. These reactions occur when a drug is discontinued or withdrawed, withdrawal syndrome or rebound effect is experienced. An example is a rebound hypertension and restlessness in opiate uh, abstainer, seizures, 
on alcohol or benzodiazepines withdrawal next is type f reactions type f is a failure of therapy reactions these reactions occur when a drug dose uh, drug does not achieve its intended therapeutic effect or it's uh, ineffective this could be due to factors such as uh, drug interactions individual variability in drug response or the development of resistance example accelerated hypertension because of inefficient control next is type g reactions type g is a genetic reactions genetic factors can influence an individual's uh, response to drugs some people may metabolize their drugs more slowly or rapidly due to their genetic makeup leading to variations in the drug efficacy and toxicity example fast oscillators and slow oscillators of isone acid type h reactions type h is hypersensitivity reactions these reactions are characterized by an exaggerated immune response to a drug they can range from mild skin rashes to severe anaphylactic reactions allergic reactions fall into the h category for example penicillin allergy next is uh, there are other type of classifications one is uh, type 1 reactions type 1 is immediate hypersensitivity reaction these are rapid onset uh, allergic reactions that occur within minutes to few hours after drug administration examples include anaphylaxis and urticaria example with uh, penicillin allergy then uh, type 2 reactions these are uh, cytotoxic uh, hypersensitivity reactions these reactions involve activation of the immune system to attack the cells that have been modified by a drug example uh, hemolytic anemia caused by certain medications uh, is an example next is type 3 reactions type 3 is immune complex hypersensitivity reaction immune complexes formed by the interaction of the drug and the antibodies uh, that can deposit in the tissues leading to inflammation and damage so this can result in uh, conditions like uh, serum sickness or drug induced lupus for example with which may occur with uh, sulfa drugs next is uh, type 4 uh, reactions uh, type 4 is uh, delayed uh, hypersensitivity reactions these reactions involve uh, a delayed immune response typically occurring uh, 48 hours uh, to several days after the drug exposure within 2 days it may occur or it may delay up to some months example is uh, contact dermatitis and uh, drug induced uh, skin reactions fall into this category for example sulfa drugs uh, which cause uh, sulfa allergy skin reactions fall into this category it's a very short information of the adrs uh, and its types i hope it will be useful for you thank you for listening happy learning kindly share this to more of your friends kindly subscribe to our pharma topics channel if you like this video kindly press the like button uh, kindly go through all the series of videos available in the playlist clinical research and pharmacovigilance in the pharma topics channel and get uh, good marks in the forthcoming exams thank you